Hello everyone, Matteo here. Welcome in my little RC garage. Thanks again for watching. Today I want to show you my new radio. It's the Noble Pro from Flysky RC. And the big plus of this controller are the many channels. Up to 18 channels can be used, which is more than enough for all functions on my scale crawlers. It's delivered in a nice case and is thus well protected during transport. As you can see, the steering wheel is in an unusual position. But this is the first advantage. It can be freely moved to any position. Turn it to the left for right-handers or to the right for left-handers. I turn it a little more and it's so easy to reach the wheel with my thumb. For me it's very important to be able to control the car with one hand for filming or hiking. It really feels very good in the hand. A smartphone can be attached here to this mount for filming while driving. I'm curious how this works. This is the receiver. A 4 channel and an 8 channel receiver is included. Available are receivers up to 12 channels. A lot of accessories are also included. Different parts and pieces to customize it for your personal need. Even a second wheel in a different size. This holder can be placed instead of the phone holder if you don't like this option. Here you can see an additional grip and triggers to adjust everything to the size of your hand. An inductive charging plate is also included. Connect this to a USB charger and the battery can be charged just by placing the transmitter on this plate. Of course, it can also be charged quite classically with the cable directly to the battery. This battery here on the bottom of the grip is basically a power bank for the built-in battery inside the radio. So basically we can say that we have a system with two batteries. When the main battery runs out, we can activate the power bank and it will charge the built-in battery automatically and also during operation. The second battery has a capacity of 4300 milliamps. This dual battery system allows runtimes of more than 12 hours in continuous operation. This is more than enough. The main screen is a channel display with the first four channels. It shows the movement of each channel. When I swipe to the left, all eight channels are displayed. With this button I can enter the settings. All settings can be made via these buttons, looks like apps on a smartphone. Here I can set the endpoints of each channel for example. Select a channel and move the value up or down, very easy and simple to do. Servo reverse. No problem to do. Or here with this button auxiliary channel, I can set the functions and switches of channels 3 to 8. Select the channel and here you can assign each switch. In system, a lot of basic settings can be done. With channel speed you can set the speed of each channel. With the steering dual rate and expo an exponential curve can be set. If you want to return to the default settings, just press this button. It also has cruise control like the Traxxas Asterix 4 models. Nice to use for longer hikes. Here's another gimmick, 
a display of the servos and how they move. Very important is the selection of the model. In this menu you can select your model and create new models. 20 models can be saved directly in the radio. But there is a possibility to export and import models to your computer. So much more models can be saved. No printed manuals are included. But this help button will take you directly to the user manual on the Flysky homepage via this QR code. Now let's check all the switches and buttons. Here is the first three position switch. And on the back is a second three position switch. This is a push button and on the back another one. On each side of the wheel is a button and two on the top. If you move these buttons to the left or right, you can trim the steering and throttle channel. And here are two rotary switches. All in all, a lot of switches and buttons that can be used to control many functions. The last thing I want to show you is how I use it with my Phoenix Scale Crawler. With this 3 point switch I can select the transmission functions. Now it is on the left position with 4 wheel drive and 6.5% overdrive. In the middle position it only has rear wheel drive. And on the right position it has 4 wheel drive and 33% overdrive. Here you can see how the endpoints are set for these functions. With this button here I can select a dig function. This means the rear wheels are locked. And here are the settings for this channel. And with the two buttons on the left and right of the steering wheel I can control the light. Logically, the endpoints for these two channels must be set to 100%. I'm really excited about this Flysky Noble Pro. It has a lot of channels, many functions and everything is very easy and smart to set. I can really recommend this high-end RC system. Now I say thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this information and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you next time.